All right, we got Omar Abad, tell me why, and this video is brought to you by our Patreon supporter, setting up a little nuts. What this up? I really love the tone that Omaro has on his guitar for this band because I've seen them before. I've seen a couple other songs. Mm -hmm. um, it's very, uh, oh, who does it remind me of? <sighs> it almost reminds me of, like that Sammy Hagar era Van Halen kind of like vibes a little bit, just a little bit, but like just 80s, like that hard rock 80s sound. Really I'm not. digging it. I'm digging it so far. Is Bo Sama like. Are they like the homies or they're like tight as fuck? Is is you know, is that his his Eric to his Alan or is Alan to his Eric kind of guy? Mm-hmm. was perfect but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure we've mentioned or we've asked this before, but who's the singer? Who he sounds a lot we like. We have asked this before because we never can. We like, never got an answer. Does he? I don't. Yeah, did we ever get an answer? Like, does he have other bands? Or it sounds like the first singer of Galneria. It's not the new one, but the the. He one does we not were... sound like the first singer of Galneria. Sorry, I he cannot does. agree with you there. Uh, he does at he all. Has a not tone. even close. His tone is totally tone. different. Is a similar sound. He has so much like grit to his voice. But like, I think he's doing that for the song. I don't know. I, do that for the song, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna have to pull the Calendary song real quick. <laughs> yeah. Let everyone decide on that one. Is it called the New Legend or something? Yeah. That, yeah, that yeah. Song. New Legend. Yeah. It does not sound like that. I get what you're saying. It's as deep as his voice, but the tone is just so different. I feel it. I don't know. I feel it. Tell us other bands that he's in. I'm sure he's in other bands. Yeah. He has to be. <laughs>
forgot to mention this. So, um, honestly, I'm not liking this song too much. It's very generic sounding to me. Very. Until the solo. The solo, he showed a lot of cool stuff that a lot of guitarists forget that they have on their guitar. Called the selector lever. Like yep. the change between solos. You know, we do that. Well, I do it quite often during our solos. Like when we do stuff like that. But you can use that thing to create a lot of like effects like that. It almost sounds like he's wah, like a wah effect when you go up and down. Jimi Hendrix is known to do that like crazy. He would use a middle uh, select. Yep. all the time but yeah, like that that really helps the solo stand out but um it's a good song it's just i'm not really feeling this song at all yeah but no, i like I the faster you. ones better the other ones that we heard Same, the more powerful esque um, ones i mean i appreciate how bo's holding back staying in the pocket mm -hmm. like playing where it's needed um but this sounds like a very stereo stereotypical song that i've heard over and over again or like when you go to the bar and you hear that old old school band just <laughs> playing yeah. all those classics yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's giving me that vibe, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it definitely sounds like they're they are holding back, but I think they're doing it for the song, you know, because you, yeah. you gotta be able to do it, you know. I yeah, I just like the other songs so much better though. Yeah, like from the same singer too. The singer he, he has better songs than this. Yeah, I, this is not my favorite performance from the singer. I, I think it could have been, you know. Well, I. I do really love how Omro's getting that tone out of that strat style guitar, mm. you know? Like it's really cool. He's but. playing with feel. But it was very solid song though. It's a solid, solid. song. It's just yep. not my not not for me. Not my thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah not my me thing. Either. I agree with you 